Now we would like to move on to the discussion part.、Uh, together with Professor Harashina, Mr. Murai, and with Ms. Nikki Koz, we would like to move on to the discussion titled Carbon Neutral and Cities. First and foremost, well, just now、uh, we are in the middle of the COP28, where Well, the local municipality or the sub-national government, well, compared to uh, the uh, the national government, are、uh, easily、uh, able to tackle and conduct at ambitious、uh, achievements. Well, for for example,、uh, I looked at the YouTube movies and the activities by municipalities are highly evaluated. So in that sense, I think it was meaningful that we had been able to invite the people, other persons from、uh, the Toyama City and Melbourne. So here comes my question to Professor Harashina. You gave us an example about the Jingu Gaia in your presentation. Well, as for myself. Well, I have looked into some of the past examples. The former,、uh, the governor Sato Shingyo, or Masayuki San, and others. A、uh, correction.、Uh, they conducted this academia had conducted the the research in regards to economic environment value and the value. Well, it was mentioned、uh, that the city a green has the value of sixty percent of the forest, out of which. Well, are the forest located inside the the pre, premise of the re, religious facilities are said to contribute to the psychological aspect, according to the research is conducted by the academia. So, I think rather than focusing on to the carbon absorption, I think we should understand that there are certain greens that shall not be touched. Perhaps so. In that sense, in case of the Jingu Gaia, maybe we can say that、uh, the Jingu Gaia forest can be counted as one of those. Thank you very much for your question. I strongly agree with you. For example, especially in case of Tokyo, at the time of war, well, actually it got burned down and we almost lost everything. As for the Jingu Gaia, and because it was related to imperial family, it remained, and therefore. Uh, well, uh, the greens that we have at, is very, very rare. It is very difficult、uh, to grow、uh, the green in hundred years. It is very meaningful that we had been able to sustain it for more long years. So, furthermore, when we create the forest, when we created the forest, all the people from Japan had made contribution, and they even volunteered to build the forest over there. Uh, the, uh, the famous, uh, the prominent business people like the Shibusawa, actually had called out to the people for the donation. Well,、uh, he felt that it was important that we collect the money from、uh, the public. Actually, seven million people had contributed to the building of the forest. Back then, we only had population about forty million throughout Japan. Considering that that number was huge, therefore, in just few,、uh, in just a.、Uh, uh, Uh, it, well, in just a few years, actually, people contributed, so democracy was there. So, as、uh, you mentioned, I think it has a, a, a significant meaning. Thank you very much. Next, I'd like to ask Miss Nikki Coles. So, urban greenery, urban urban forestry,、uh, that was mentioned, but now, I, I'm sure there are various donations from various areas. And now this is symbolic in terms of greenery. So in Melbourne, you are increasing greenery, and how is that being done? Because, if, for example, the landowner, if they say they want to create greenery, they will be receiving subsidy. What? How is? How does it work? Thank you for your question, Mr. Kurahashi.、Uh, we use many things to create what we call an urban forest fund. So, if a development happens in the city and they re remove a tree, we charge them a cost per tree.、Uh, the bigger the tree, the older the tree, the more significant a tree, the bigger the cost. And all of those funds go into a fund called the Urban Forest Fund. And as a city, we can only use those funds to plant trees. So we create a self-reinforcing fund to grow new trees every year. 
Uh, and some of those funds were used directly. So we put them in our streetways, we convert our roads into parks and plant trees. And other funds we give to the private sector to make trees on their own private land. So if there's subsidy, then private entities uh, will also can and will also plant trees, right? Yes, the, the private entities can and will plant trees on their own land. They can do it themselves, but we can also, um, they can also apply for a grant where we pay half the cost of them greening their buildings or rooftops. So as a city, in order to improve or increase greenery, you are uh, providing funds. So the reason I'm asking is because in order to implement a policy, citizen participation, I think, is extremely important. So corporates, as a citizen, can participate. And earlier, uh, Mr. Murai mentioned, in the local area, there is a bus that is uh, operated voluntarily by the citizens. So there is the self-operating bus in Toyama, so are you providing support as a city or maybe the local people made some efforts? Can you please elaborate? Well, so uh, this is the community bus that are operated by the community. For example, in case of the vehicles, uh, the city, it would provide the fund necessary to purchase the vehicle as per the operation cost, 9th of uh, 20th uh, of the cost would be supported by us but the rest would have to be paid by the community, meaning that they would have to uh, collect the sponsorship from uh, the surrounding uh, the company, local companies. And they too need to think as to where they should establish the community, uh, the bus stop. That I really do hope that it would further expand in the flat area of Tatoyama. Thank you very much. Well, in case of Tokyo or in Melbourne, the correction, in a case of uh, the Toyama and in case of the Melbourne, the community is part participating to the formulation of the policy. So they have the sense of the ownership. I can strongly see that. Well, what, uh, well in case of Tokyo, Harashina-san, Dr. Harashina, in case of Tokyo, including companies for the sake of the surrounding areas, uh, do you see any movements by the citizens themselves? Do you see that? Yes, Tokyo citizens. Uh, there are many people in Tokyo who have that funny feeling. For example, there the Jingu Gaiin issue represents that. The local residents are opposed to the current development plan, not only local areas, but uh, there are people even in the outer, outside the immediate local area that uh, who are opposing this. So this decision-making, is, is there something wrong with that? 20 years ago, nothing like this happened. So over the past 20 years, uh, things are steering in a different direction. So things are decided before the local community knows about it. That is a big issue. And Japan is supposed to be improving. Why is this happening? So Japan Ecomos, uh, this kind of academic organization, uh, looked at the assessment data and said that there are a lot of errors in the evaluation report. And usually that should be input and uh, it needs to be disclosed. However, that input was not was rejected. And uh, that is why we, our organization, came up with the recommendation. So the citizens are highly aware, and there are many people voicing their views. For example, Sakamoto Ryuchi, the musician who passed away, it went to Governor Koike to complain. And Murakami Haruki, a very uh, famous novelist, has also said that. And the rugby Japan athlete, player, and former baseball player, they're all voicing their opposition. And Kuwata Keisuke, a very uh, famous, popular musician, has even created a song. So the citizens are speaking up, but it just so happens that the current organized, uh, administration, the government, is not responding. So this is a bad time. So maybe, not just as a 
urban facility, but uh, as urban policy, that kind of vision of how the city is going to be going forward, I think the government as well as the citizens and the inclusive of the corporate citizens, they should all share the vision, the process to share the future vision. That is uh, required. So in Toyama, for example, when we say compact city, how do you share uh, with the citizens and corporates? Well, let me see. The compact city policy actually transforms cities in a major way. Therefore, understanding of citizens is quite critical. Back then, when we raised the voice about the transformation, actually, the city mayor had to conduct 120 rounds of the community at the town hall meeting in order to build understanding. So with eyes on 20 years or 30 years out in the future, what well, we explained, for example, he explained that the Toyota well, uh, light well actually is one of the milestones for the transformation. And with the expectation at the boat, I think uh, people st uh, started uh, to become convinced. Thank you very much for all that. That is just wonderful. That is just wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, I do agree. The sharing of the vision with the citizens, how is that being done in Melbourne? So every 10 years, we have a requirement to make a community vision for the city. Uh, they made a vision four years ago, and we will probably do it again uh, next year. So we're doing it more often than we need to. Uh, last vision that we made, climate change was the number one issue. Climate change and then economic development was fourth. Um, so climate change is high on the agenda for our community. And every project that we did, so if we were doing a similar project to the one that is uh, in Tokyo, the community has to be consulted all the way through. Uh, it still may get approval, but if it had wide um, disapproval by the community, I suspect it would have trouble. Thank you very much for that. So in that sense, I think when we talk about the citizens, probably... Well, not only the citizens, but politicians and also public administration and also a management of the companies and citizens. I think well, it seems that it, they are caught up with the short term and the benefits. Rather, I think they should look into far out in the future. They should also pay attention to the values. Uh, including culture. I think we need to have the kind of people including uh, politicians and public administration uh, uh, people and so on, and that would be able to comprehensively well, understand all these values and we have to nurture those people or else I think we would not be able to achieve carbon neutrality. That is how I personally feel. Well, the famous uh, the author uh, from Japan by the name of Shiba Ryotaro, um, will mention the following uh, thing according to one YouTuber. He said, when we lost in World War II, I was very much disappointed to those who managed the, uh, the nation. There was uh, someone co uh, in the position of shogun who can be translated as general, but the shogun is supposed to integrate all these respective values, but there was none who would be able to do that. There was no such integrators of the values. That was the quote uh, of that famous author. So in that sense, well, I think this is related to building up the the uh, the, the citizens, a, 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 a society, a civil society. I think in order to uh, the nurture uh, the politicians or the public administration or the manager of the citizens, what is it that you think is required? Would, you, would each of you uh, give, give me your comment? Yes, a nurturing of the people that would be able to integrate the values is important. Well, well uh, we have a word called Buddha, which stands for uh, the, uh, the martial arts, uh, but we need uh, the people who would be able to do something called a cheetah, who would be able to money things. Uh, and leaders would have to be able to have a bird's eye view. They would have to have the right understanding about their... That's another important aspect is ethics. Highly ethical people would be required to manage things. Therefore, uh, we have to nurture these aspects from the childhood. 
in that sense, well, we have something called Bushido, uh, the way of uh, the samurai. And I think what the concept is quite similar to the Bushido. Uh, there are many keywords. Nitobe Inazo uh, had introduced the Bushido, uh, the philosophy in English. And he, and well, there are three keywords to it. One is Gi, which stands for uh, the justice, the, the capability to judge what is right. And the uh, second is execution. Because uh, the samurai is about doing things, execution, and also the consideration. In, just like SDGs, that's the third aspect. We have to pay consideration for others. So these three, when you have uh, the three, then you can be the great leader. Such people would have to be nurtured. I think it's quite important for that purpose. Well, uh, I think it's important uh, that you learn at the actual at the floor at within the society. And and these people can be uh, these people are not really selected as a part of election though. Hey, Mr. Murai, please. Well, the population will decline, and that will accelerate further. So, not just explaining, but visually, we need to show them, and we need to convince them. We need to show evidence in a detailed manner. I think uh, that is, is going to be extremely important in Toyama City, as I explained earlier on. GIS, uh, we do GIS, and also demonstrate the social value. So a compelling explanation is provided in order to execute our plan. I think that is extremely important. Uh, thank you very much. Nikki san we have a we have a concept called community champions, um, and this as a city we do not elect the community champions. The community champions are uh, have demonstrated that they are leaders of themselves. That they are selected by their community through the activities they do. So we tend to work with community champions from each group. Um, we have nineteen plus language groups in our city. So often those community champions might be from the Mandarin speaking community or the Greek chess club. <laughs> so right. these these community members are natural leaders um, and they re they're connected to lots of people in their own neighborhoods. Um, and we try to work with them to help them get the information they need and to be able to um, ask for what they need as well. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you very much for your uh, the feedback. At the Tokyo University, uh, through the academics and academia, we are trying to nurture people. Uh, uh, and what you have mentioned is part of the activities that we are doing. Of course, that's how I interpreted your message. With that, we would like to conclude the discussion. Well, first, uh, uh, may I thank all the people for participating in such an active discussion. Thank you very much indeed. With that, we would like to conclude this session. Thank you very much.